Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Bible in One Year with the Preacher's Husband. Today, we are talking about Exodus chapters 25, 26, and 27. And today, this is the day of planning. There are plans, plans, and more plans going on here at the mountain. And the Lord said to Moses, Tell the people of Israel to bring me their sacred offerings. Accept the contributions from all whose hearts are moved to offer them. Here is a list of sacred offerings you may accept from them. Gold, silver, bronze, blue, purple, and scarlet thread. Fine linen and goat hair for cloth. Tanned ram skins and fine goatskin leather acacia wood. Olive oil for the lamp, spices for the anointing oil, and the fragrant incense, onyx stones, and other gemstones to be set in the ephod, and, and the priest chest plates. Have the people of Israel bring me, or build me, a holy sanctuary, so I can live among them. You must build this tabernacle and its furnishings exactly according to the pattern I will show you. And then God shows them the plan. The first thing was the plans for the Ark of the Covenant. Now there was lots of gold in this bad boy here. You can see the pictures about the cherubim there. And there were specifics, a specific way they had to be seated. The specific way the wings had to be pointed. They had to be made of gold. Even the acacia wood bars that were in so, um, handholds there that were inserted through the, through the little rings on the side were dictated how long they had to be and that they were to be made of acacia wood but they had to be coated covered in gold as well so there was a lot of planning and you notice that in the beginning he when he said that these are the list of the offerings that you may accept from them these offerings are the things that are going to be used to build all of this stuff there was a plan in mind lots of plans so this was the plans for the ark of the covenant the next thing was they planned for a table. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to throw this picture up and show that this table was going to be for holding the bread, the table of show bread that you see here in the picture. And then next there's plans for the lampstand, the golden lampstand. There's lots of gold in that boy, bad boy too. There's even gold in the table, gold um, layering on the table. Um, then there were plans to build um, the tabernacle in itself and it talked about all of the tabernacle is the dark squares inside those two dark squares in the middle of that inner white square that is the tabernacle that's where the Ark of the Covenant will be held an altar of incense would be held of course the table and the golden lampstand and this is considered the most holy place where the Ark of the Covenant is and it's a holy place where the altar of incense and the table of showbread and the golden lampstand stood. Then, after they have made the plans for the tabernacle, they made plans for the altar of burnt offerings. And you'll see that outside of the tabernacle in the courtyard. Now, the courtyard itself has a surrounding as well. There's a wall around the courtyard, but it is also made of linens and things that were donated. So they built the burnt offering table, the our altar. Then they made plans for the courtyard, the plans for the courtyard to actually surround it with those walls, with those curtains as they, as they were called. Then they made a light for the tabernacle as well. And clothing. Next week we'll talk, I mean tomorrow we'll talk about clothing for the priests. So overall, the tabernacle that Moses would have built would have looked something like this in real life it would have had there was the um, the burnt offering altar there and then you would have had the tabernacle itself and everything that's inside this is what the walls would have somewhat looked like it would have been posts drove up with curtains with um, strings or thread as they would say that were tying it down all the way around and of course they were of certain colors the blues and the purples and and so forth so now if anything stood out today to you put it in the comment section and let's talk about it we now have 
the tabernacle plans. They are planned. So tomorrow, we're going to continue on in Exodus with chapter 28 and 29. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, and of course, click the little jingle bell the next time you want to get notified that I upload a video. And like I said, put something in the comments. Let's talk about it. What stood out to you? To me, a lot of the gold that was being used, I was just amazed at how much go the sheer volume of it that was just available that they had that was given to build all this stuff. That was an enormous amount of gold. In today's standards, by, by then, I couldn't imagine how much it would have been. So, um... That's just one thing that stood out, is how rich it was. Um, what stood out to you? I will talk to you tomorrow, Exodus chapter 28 and 29. See you then.